Well, hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series. It's me and two friends playing Create. And today's episode, we just went exploring, gathering resources, and we even built a little starter house. So sit back and relax. Well, hello everybody. Good to see you too. Hello. Hi, 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 hi. Hello. Hi, hi. Welcome. Hi, hi. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 <laughs> so what are we doing here, guys? Uh, yeah, we're creating. Creating. Wait, well, attempting to create. <laughs> brand new world, brand new opportunities, a lot of frightening new machinery. It's going to be an interesting series because, like I said, we're going to learn a bunch of new things. And we've got a few interesting things planned for all of you. Create challenges. Whee! Yay. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Something, something like, like that. that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we want to have some goals out here, but we're going to have some fun. We're going to build some machines. We got a few big mods in Create being probably the biggest of yeah. them and the funnest, if you ask me. We've got that new chipped mod, which seems awesome. You can texturize pretty much any block. And so for builders, yes. I'm really excited about the chip mod and just building some awesome factories. Yeah. I can't wait to see what we do out here. And now the big adventure. What? Yeah. Big so, adventure. Oh, that's on me, isn't it? That's on you. So Maya, you have to choose a yeah. direction and we'll get lost in that way, that general direction. I see that red tree over there. So I'm thinking we go that way. That <laughs> way. <laughs> okay. So opposite way. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking this way. Oh, I can't run anymore. I'm only on three. Ooh, how does it feel? <laughs> it sucks. Uh -huh. still got... <laughs> I've still got over half my hunger. Oh, I can't catch up to this fish. Saturation. Oh, there's, ch there's chickens. Oh, yeah. Get them. Oh, man. Aha, I just ate raw fish to be able to move. I'm also going to try and punch a fish or two. Oh, we need to grab kelp if we see it, too. Oh, oh yeah. That's going to be so. very just in case. important. Yeah. I don't think we'll be able to find it outside of, like, an ocean, though, right? Yeah. Just in case we're not near a uh, ocean. Uh, so. Ocean, yeah. Yeah. Die, chicken. Oh, I nearly tried to eat the feather. Do you ever Take get it. snow down there? Never. Never. I've never seen snow in my life. Look no. what I got. Ooh, diamonds. Diamonds. What? That Among was quick. Us. Yeah, I found a, a, a what do you call it's it? Chest. A, a sunken ship thingy. Nice. Yeah. I'm recording. All right, same here. So, are we ready for this? I don't think we're ready. Yeah. No, neither do I, but there's no time well, like now. I, I got What's a bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You're going to whack him to death with that bamboo. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I got an iron axe. I got uh, us. I've, I've, I've got I'm going in. Trusty diamond sword. Let's We're do going this. in. Do, oh, there goes my first. Oh, please let it just be boop, not boop, the boop. red, not the crimson for it. Are we in a basalt delta? Oh, uh, no. Yes, we are. Oh, no, we're in a forest. We're in Wait, a nether what? forest. <laughs> and I, uh, um, uh, it what's, says uh, basalt delta. Oh, that's nether forest right next to us. Look at that. Oh, I, I there's pigmen. As well. We don't have gold. Or you guys probably don't have gold, huh? I got gold. I've got some gold boots. Uh, oh wow. Okay, there's a fortress right there is a blaze spawner right underneath me. Oh but that's the thing. That could be what we um what we've been hearing here by the portal. Oh yeah. Where did you Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Oh. It's right here. That's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. oh wow, I see. Super lucky. Oh you I just pre camped yeah. over. Oh wow. Cause we need blazes for like Blaze cookers, right? Yeah, for the blaze yeah. burner. The wow, this is quite so a lucky we need spawn. A, we need to mark this yeah, it somehow. Is. So there you have it. Me, Maya Squest, and Hypno Joe. We started this together. Let's play Create World with a few basic mods. Create being the biggest one. The biomes you'll go for biome generation and a few other minor biomes. So to show you guys quickly, oh, map map is this one. We ended up spawning over there. We traveled through here. We died a lot in this area. 
and then we ended up settling in this temporarily temporary temporary wow wow what a word temporary little area <laughs> <laughs> so Maya and Hypno and I started over here I just moved up the hill and this is where I'm going to live and I do believe they will also be moving out from there into the area around this I'm not sure but you guys will have to go look at their videos and go see what they get up to but let's quickly head on down here and I just want to show what's been going on so I joined the first night and then I wasn't able to play for a uh, for a day maybe and they've been going ham so much has happened we've got an awesome windmill kind of thing we've got waystones we did go to the nether as you guys saw we have blaze burners we've got materials we've got enchanting just a bunch of things and Oh, this is for me, for Dio. A toolbox with some super glue. Because apparently I have never played Advanced Create, so I'm going to apparently need that to glue items together. So, oh, I did pick it up. I for a moment thought I lost it. And to fit in with the theme, we're all steampunk. <laughs> Look at my little toolbox. <laughs> Looks fantastic. Okay, let's get up on to our hill again, because we need to cut some trees. And for that, we're going to have to create something special. Okay, we're back up here and we need to make a few create items. So I managed to pin them up here and let's start with creating andesite alloy, which I think requires zinc, but I think it requires zinc nuggets, if I'm not mistaken. And we do have some andesite that I've been mining up and we're going to create some andesite alloy. Yeah, it requires the nuggets, which is fine. Okay, so the first one we're going to need is hand crank which is planks so we've got some planks in here i'm going to use some spruce we'll be chopping down some more just now and i'm going to create two hand cranks for the press for the saw let's make a third one just in case we've got three hand cranks so we've got that going so we can remove that next we need to make a mechanical saw so for a mechanical saw we're going to need iron sheets so we're first going to go to this one so we need andesite casing and we need a shaft and another andesite casing and a block of iron. Block of iron we have. Andesite casing, I do believe. Let's do 10 of those. Because if I'm not mistaken, you place these down, you strip them, and we turn them into casing. Like this. And then with the andesite alloy. Yeah, there we go. We do that okay and we also as mentioned we need shafts so let's do two of those which will give us 16 let's just grab this get all of this going so now with that we can create mechanical press we can create the depot and these two we'll use to create the sheets that we're going to need for the saw so let's just do that and I wonder if I just put this one on top, will that be fine? I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We did things. So we've got the mechanical press. We have the depot. So for the saw, we need three iron sheets and an iron ingot. So we're going to need three iron sheets and one iron ingot. So can I do all of these at once? It looks like it. And we rotate. Look at it. Boop. That is so cool. Did it do all three now? It did. I do I have to pull that up? That is so cool. Okay. <laughs> and now we've got a mechanical saw, which is fantastic. So we've got that. And the last one we want to make is encased fan. And for that, we need four more iron sheets. So let's go one, two, three, four. We'll chuck those on there as well. On it, not past it. Can we just oh we could just click it and if we do this oh so it only does one okay so we have to do it all four times so it's two three four so now 
yeah we've got four iron sheets so we need to now create the encased fan so for the fan we need oh, we need andesite alloy again so we'll just make some more nuggets i guess we create more andesite alloy so we need to make ooh, what's that mechanical harvest okay wait 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 don't get distracted so we need the propeller and then we've got everything else the encasement and the shaft and so what this one will do is we're going to set this up to wash or to um what you call it smelt items basically if we set it up correctly if i understand all of this so if we do this over here and can we do a shot a thing on this because see now it pulls but if i push shift it will push it forward so then if i go and let's say create some trap doors i do believe they won't burn well we'll see now and if i do this this and this and i grab myself a bucket of lava which i do have back here and we put it there we should be able to turn our cobble into what's that smooth stone like a bulk smelt so we don't have to do it all manually so shift and do this is that doing anything i know it's making me extremely hungry that i know for a fact yeah my food's dropping so fast oh i just managed to set everything on fire oh no 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 this is bad this is bad okay so we managed to set everything on fire and we got hungry and we do not have any <laughs> smooth stone yet huh okay well let me try that a bit more i'll bring you guys back when i have any news okay so it happened but it takes extremely long and i think it's because i'm using a hand crank so that might be reason and i did have to like cover it up so it doesn't light anything on fire which is okay for now so what i'm going to do is i'm quickly going to finish up those and then i'll bring you guys back when we get into the tree pot we've got the smooth stone done and i just picked up the lava because i don't want anything to burn down and we've got the mechanical press pot done but the next part is we need to remove some trees more so spruce trees because we need spruce trees for a build but this tree is also in the way so what we're going to do is we're going to chop it down using a mechanical saw saw mechanical saw so you look at the place you want to place it and if you place it down it will just face towards you but luckily i learned early on from my friend maya that if you hold shift and you click it'll place in the direction you're looking and also remember if we're cutting from this side the tree will fall towards that side yeah you heard me fall so we put this in and we just crank and that is fantastic <laughs> that makes it so much easier so i am loving this already but now before we can do any build or do any of these th these things we need to travel to a spruce for forest a spruce forest <laughs> a spruce forest and luckily we've got waystones and i've actually put up a waystone for spruce and it will require, require one level to get there so let me empty my inventory grab some food and then we'll do a little bit of spruce gathering and just like that we cut down three mega spruce trees and what did we get we got all of this wood from three spruce trees and a handy mechanical saw so that was fantastic we also went ahead and got all the other resources ready for our build and i think it's time that we maybe roll a time lapse and get our starter base built so let's jump right into it
first build complete for this new season and i am loving the start a little house so it's by no means complete we need to do a bit more terraforming add a few more well a lot more details and the path currently just stops over here but if we run in this is the up the front door you go inside you have this lovely room over here that has not been decorated and i still want to add a stairs to go up to the roof because there's quite a lot of space that we can utilize as well but from the year we go through here and i thought of maybe doing this like the workshop and the kitchen type area because right back here there's a fireplace which i'll show you guys just now or chimney and then we can go out into the back garden which overlooks this whole area and i am thinking of doing more paths doing more farms and stuff down there maybe crops i don't know or future plans but also we have this little area that if you go down here you enter into some form of a cellar which again roofs and stuff have not been done but also nice little space we can utilize for our builds so what i want to do next is quickly just go over here and i think what we will do is we'll turn on shaders and we'll go into free cam and just look at this build from the sky that's quite nice i think this is by far my favorite view of it I think it just looks really really nice even this whole area and i like how we had this original house and we now we have this little addition to it which is quite quite nice yeah just look at that that's fantastic man i'm loving this house but sadly that's gonna be have to be it for this episode you see we did a lot of recording and sadly you can't show everything but it was a lot of fun we finished this house now and we've got some basic create stuff and next episode we'll maybe even start looking into automating some of it a bit maybe i don't know we'll see <laughs> if you have an idea of what we should work towards start a farm remember guys leave it down in there down there you know down there in the comments you guys can see it down there in the comments let me know what type of create gadgets you would like to see and if it's possible for next episode we'll look into that if it's not we'll put it on the to-do list but for now thank you for popping in thank you for supporting and i can't wait to see you guys in the next episode bye for now